Hi there, Lopez. How's tricks? Senor Stobart, how pleasant to see you. You are well. Fine, thanks. Is the Countess in? She is waiting for you. I will show you up. It's okay, I know the way. Senor Stobart, I feel I owe you an apology. No, you don't. I was impolite on our first meeting. Look, Lopez, just forget about it. I came on like a snake oil merchant. I wouldn't have trusted me in your shoes. You do not understand. Finding the chalice has given my lady a new lease of life. It's a marvel. She smiles, she laughs. The tradesmen are saying that she is on Prozac. So the Countess feels that the curse is lifted. I would not put it so strongly. Your discovery of the chalice was proof that the Templars never abandoned the De Vasconcelos. It counts for a great deal with my lady. What's the story behind the chalice vanishing? When the Inquisition raided, in the absence of Don Carlos, it was believed that they had taken it. Naturally, they denied the charge as they denied taking the children. And naturally, nobody believed them. But they were telling the truth. The chalice was hidden from them. You don't suppose they were telling the truth about the children as well, do you? Madre de Dios! I had not thought of that. But then what happened to them? I don't know. If the Inquisition didn't take them, then who did? You must speak to my lady of these. Count on it. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stoba. It was a small mirror hanging over the sink. Senor Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please, sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Why? You've had it cleaned. Yeah, I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knights secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Ah, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. There's still the mystery of the missing chess piece. I do not think that it will ever be discovered unless the fate of the children is revealed. The Inquisition were suspected of taking the chalice and the kids, right? We know now they were innocent of the first crime. What if... They did not take the children either. Then what happened to them? The Inquisition admitted to killing Don Carlos's manservant. Now this guy had been told to protect the kids at all costs, right? That is correct. I think he hid them and the chalice when he got wind that the Inquisition was coming. With him dead and Don Carlos driven mad with grief, there was nobody left who knew the secret. You know what this means, don't you? I fear so. The children are still here somewhere. If this is so, then it is small wonder that the de Vasconcelos are cursed. I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcelos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. What are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32.7, Corinthians. I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible, chapter and verse. I meant, what are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest. I'll have a look around if 
That's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. Now what? There was nothing to snuff. Feeling like an idiot. The candle had burnt brilliantly, but only for a couple of minutes, some kind of special formulation, I guess, and had yielded up this, a complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Do you know what this is? No, senor. Is it some kind of key? Yeah, I think it probably is. Where did you get it? It was hidden inside the big candle in the mausoleum. And you burnt it? I wondered what the light was I saw through the window. My lady will be furious. The candle was centuries old. Ah. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stobar. Hello again. Mind if I sit? Please, I'll be my guest. What do you make of this? It looks like some sort of key. Where did you get it from? It was buried inside the great candle in the mausoleum. Inside it? What have you done to it? I, uh, lit it. But it is irreplaceable. Listen, the candle was to be lit in case of Moorish attack, right? Well, it burnt down in no time and revealed this key thing. Maybe that was the real purpose of lighting the candle. What are you suggesting? that lighting the candle was the equivalent of break glass in case of emergency. 
A sentiment must not stand in the way of solving this mystery. You did the right thing. Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. Very well. Let us begin. The first reference. Psalms 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding place. Don't get your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay. John 4, 11. John 4, 11. Here. The well is deep. The next. Quickly. Okay, okay. Uh... Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is. We'll bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns, what does it mean? I can't guess. Salient points seem to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is the mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything pertaining to the estate. I'll have a look around if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, si, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Conchelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? Si, senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great. So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. You must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard, so that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Any ideas yet? We are looking for a source of water, see? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water, even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah, you're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento! It must be a special stick, a Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here. That is hazel. So that was what a hazel tree looks like. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha!
Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> we'll find this well in no time. Senior Stobart, you've... you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man until now. The mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. From a distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior Stoba! Senior Stoba! Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, you gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It was too dark to see and I had to rely on touch. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. I realized I could use the mirror to reflect the light from above. There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it had seemed.
Now I knew what I was looking for. It only took a few moments to find it. And there it was, a worked socket, as smooth and perfect as if it had been carved only yesterday. I slid the stone key into the lock. There were buttons that turned the dials. I heard the sounds of the lock moving. Either that or the wall was going to come down on my head. Oh, yes! Oh, bonus points for that, I hope. I knew the old Stobart finger work wouldn't let me down. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez.